Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs, so whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Saggy, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week this week is the Emperor. Uh, Leo also had this card. So it's interesting that the uh, the fire signs among you, or two of you at least, had the same uh, key to the week card. Because this suggests that your ruler Jupiter is definitely doing something this week that's going to benefit you. Now uh, the reason I say that is because Jupiter is currently in Aries and the Emperor card is ruled by Aries. That being said, you'll have to forgive the hum in the background, that is the sound of the fan and my billowy t-shirt. I feel like I'm walking in my own uh, soft focus at this moment in time. It's very hot in the UK here, so I apologise for the sweaty mess that I am, but it is what it is. So for the Emperor, as your key to the week, this week you are getting control of your environment. This means not only your home, but this is also your professional sphere, where it is that you show up in the world in only the way that you can. This is likely to be a week where you're starting to understand how you approach people, how you teach, and more importantly, how you learn. This could also be that you're interacting with a very important male figure in your life in some way, shape, or form, or you're meeting someone, for those of you that are single, maybe you're meeting a really important guy uh, or girl, you know, but the thing is with the, because obviously, you know, nowadays gender is, and all the rest of it, there's so much in it. But what I do find really interesting is the emperor, even with all the changes that we've had that we're implementing into the, the way that we live our lives in the modern era, the emperor card will show up as the most alpha person in the relationship, and that's it, all right? So really interesting stuff. Uh, anyway, I digress. I love this for you because in all of these different sectors of your life, there is an energy where you are stepping forward, where you're claiming that personal authority and you're showing up in a really powerful way. If you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. And if you should so choose, and this resonates, hit that subscribe button for your actions and options. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, all right? So this with the Emperor card, this is you starting to establish yourself in a very practical material way. So when it comes to your finances, your money and your resources, this is you putting pen to paper and creating really solid plans this week. <coughs> Excuse me. Because your ruler, uh, Jupiter, is currently in the sign of Aries, sending a trine energy or a harmonious or beneficial energy to your sign, it means that there is a level of practicality there, right? That it means that there is, and this is from the fifth house, so it's like you're really loving what you do. What I love most about that Queen of Pentacles as an actions, though, is you are doing your best to increase not only your reach and your authority, but also to increase the, the, the amount of whatever you're doing or getting from whatever efforts are already sown. I love this because it's like you're not trying to reinvent the wheel, you're just trying to squeeze the extra juice out of the berries that are already growing and present. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. So this with the Emperor, you're definitely at the drawing board. There are big plans being formulated by the Sagis this week. Lots of really deep looks into where you want to be, what you want to do, how you want your profession and your career to grow. And the Seven of Pentacles suggests that you're taking your time with it. I am gonna say because you've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, you might be feeling a little bit of agitation or frustration at how slow things are moving for you at this moment in time. But remember Jupiter, your ruling planet is currently retrograde. So things will be a little bit slower, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not moving. They're just not moving at that sort of fast, dynamic, Sagittarian pace that you like. 
Um, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this is you working nose to the grindstone on something. And it looks like you're working very closely with somebody that you respect. And what I don't think you realize is happening at the time, at that same time is, this person is looking at you in the same way and they're like really awed by whatever it is that you're doing or the ideas that you're formulating. They're coming across really, really well. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, this would be a good time to start formulating how you're gonna ask for your raise, how you're gonna justify asking for that extra five, six, seven, 10, 20, 50K a year. This is the week to really put pen to paper and really, it looks like a lot of you are paying attention to how you have improved things and what you can do that nobody else can do. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, all the same kind of energy. It's just that this goes a little bit further. A lot of you are starting to think about what the financial commitment is going to be to take your business to that next level. Like this week, I feel like a lot of you are really being very serious about that. And some of you appear to be either retraining or going back over something else. So really interesting. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, if you are looking for work this week, it's just a case of you just got to keep plugging away at it. It will probably come that you find something that you feel like is suitable or viable, but it probably won't come until like late Saturday, early Sunday. For those of you that are um, uh, not looking for work and that's not your experience, I mean, this could literally be a time where you're starting to get a hold of your budget and say, right, okay, how do we make this go further? How do we get more out of our retirement or our pension or you know, whatever, maybe state benefits, etc., that you receive. For your love and relations, you have the Knight of Swords. For those of you that are single, I gotta be honest, I feel like there is someone coming in for you this week. <laughs> You're moving really slow but this person is more like the kind of energy that you like, that you're used to. They're dynamic, they're passionate, they're vibrant. They're very quick-witted, they're very good at what they do, but they're very fast with everything that they do. This might cause a little bit of a clash because you at the moment need something that's a little slower, whereas they are like, they're not in that slow down mode. So it works, but it's definitely a bit of a, an opposites attract at this moment in time. Um, the other thing for those of you that are partnered, married or in long term commitments, I gotta be honest, this could be that you and your partner are both vying for that alpha spot this week. Um, and usually, I mean, it's a sliding scale. Wh whatever the partnership is, it's usually a sliding scale. One partner brings one effort and energy that they do really, really well, better than the other person and vice versa. And you tend to do that seesaw thing, right? Um, however, there is a somewhat, it's like both of you are wanting to lead something this week and it's kind of creating a little bit more friction than there usually is around such things. So just something to be mindful of. But if you're single, I gotta be honest, there's something about this person that feels like they're gonna be around for a long time to come. For your money and materials, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Two knights represents intimacy. So for partners, for singles, you know, there's good loving to be had. <laughs> for, so you've got the Knight of Pentacles here. There's a lot of earth. That is a lot of earth with just a little bit of air and obviously the emperor which brings the fire, which means the missing element is the emotional stuff. Honestly, I don't think you have time to be emotional this week. That doesn't mean you can't, it doesn't mean that you won't be, it just means that's not gonna be the most important focus. For uh, your money and materials, whatever you are planning, whatever you're piecing together, whatever budgets you're creating, whatever plans you're making, drawing up and etc., they have long reaching ripples, far reaching ripples, far reaching consequences in the best way. Um, I love it. The Knight of Pentacles suggests that whatever shows up in terms of the resources this week or however they grow or expand, it's here to stay, certainly for the foreseeable future. Uh, when it comes to your um, 
physical health and vitality. The Knight of Pentacles is a good one, but it does suggest you need to look after your knees. When it comes to your home and environment, for some of you, this is gonna be a week where you are either planning a very long trip, i.e. you're gonna be away for a month, etc., or you are planning to move. Like this is you putting the final touches on where you're going to be next. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.